The centre pin reel I'm going to use today is a Mate's limited edition. Um, it's got plenty of features and the line runs off it nice and smoothly. Now, they are said they were a limited edition, they've only made a thousand and each one is individually numbered one to a thousand and at £60, great value. Now, let's have a look at the reel. Comes in a nice tidy box, named Mate's on the front. Now you can see when I spin this, how smooth it is. It is absolutely lovely. Um, it's also got a nice wide spool. You got a good line lay on it, takes plenty of line. Um, it's also got the guard. And when you turn it around, it's got a nice clicker. Um, it's got two settings. And also there's your individual number. And this particular reel is number one. Now the rod we're going to use today is an Avanti RDX Advanced Waggler Rod. Now it comes in a multiple kit and this, you can fish 11 foot, 13 foot and 15 foot sections. So depending on the river you're fishing, you know, if it's a large river you could use the top section of say 15 or you come down to 13. Our river today, which is the River Arrow as a, in Herefordshire, um, is going to be the short section of 11 foot. Hence, it's because it's a small river, there's loads of trees, and we don't want any snag problems. Now, I say it's an ideal rod, it's multiple uses, and at 39.99, you couldn't ask for anything better. The Advanced Waggler has a split handle between Duplom and Cork, and we come up to the real fittings then, they're nice and firm, the reel tightens up nicely because what you don't want is any movement. That's perfect. Now the rod is a, itself is of a high quality carbon fibre. Um, finished off in a nice gloss finish. And another good addition is the little blue tinge to the uh, whipping on the rod. Now the other good little thing is this little keeper, hook keeper here, which you can slip on or off and uh, keeps everything in order when you're walking around with the rod. Um, the eyes are beautifully laid and the line runs through them superbly. The last bit of kit I want to show you is this carbon fibre, very strong 10 foot landing net pole. And it's made by the old traditional firm that, called Boss, which was big in the market a few years ago and has now at long last come back on the scene. And it's called the Boss Weightlifter, say 10 foot carbon power. Fabulous bit of kit, nice and strong. I'm going to say you can unscrew the end and take the section out, the extending part out. Let's just put that down a second. Unscrew the other end. And the whole thing goes together nicely. As I say, it's 10 foot long, it's very, very powerful. Nice bit of kit. And at uh, 30 pound, who can argue with that? I've now made a choice of swims. I've actually been standing on the bank further down river and I've been watching some nice sized chub and some reasonable trout. I've put a bit of feed in and the, at the moment it's a bit like a jacuzzi. There's fish well in the swim and numbers of them. The problem is on a small river like this, it's gin clear all the time. I've got to get from here to within a reasonable distance of where I've spotted the fish. And the problem is it's gin clear, the sun's out and the fish will be very easy to spook. So I've really got to go down there in stealth mode.
Right, I've now crept down the river. I'm nicely in position. Hopefully I haven't spooked too many of the fish out the swim. I've uh, been feeding a few maggots down the swim. Just to, if they have moved down a little, hopefully they'll come up river for it. I've set up my landing net and my keep net. And as I say, I've been as quiet as I can. If they have spooked them, hopefully, as I say, they will be back in the next 10 minutes. Now, I'm fishing a six number four stick float, four pound line to the main reel, and bulk shot on the bottom. And at the moment, I'm just going to try a single maggot. We'll give it a whirl now and see how it's like. I'm just going to drift it nicely down the swim. And as you can see, the line is coming nicely off the reel. I haven't got to touch it. So just holding it nicely, it's coming off fabulous now. I've got to say, this is a first for me. And at the moment, it looks good. Oh, hey, let me neck. That was great, a great start. Um, uh, so it takes a little bit of getting used to. But, uh, we've got a fish on, that's what counts. Looks like a little brown trout. Only a little fella, but it's a start. Well, so we've had a first fish, we'll try and get another. The only thing I've been struggling through is to, is either, to either on clutch or non-clutch. Uh, me not doing it before, I'm just struggling with that a little bit. But hopefully, a bit of practice, I'll improve. Oh, this is a proper fish. Now, this is so, so, ah! I've just lost a fish there, which was probably a, a good chub. Um, main reason is I was fumbling around with the reel, as I said before, trying to get it on what suits me best. Well, again, landed in the perfect sp spot. Let's see if we can get a few maggots to go down with the same speed as the float. Yeah, the presentation really is perfect. Ah, that's a better fish. Now, this will really... <laughs> says my newfound skills with this reel. My guess is this could be a nice chub. Oh, great fun. Feels absolutely fabulous on this. Oh, do you know what? I've got a sneaky feeling this is my best grayling ever. At first I thought it was a chub. Oh, it's, it's a lovely grayling. Yes! Now, that's what it's all about. I don't very often get the chance to fish for these sort of fish these days, but I'm going to make a point of doing it a lot more. That's a beauty, that is. Absolute beauty. Lady of the river. Well, oh, look at that. Got to be a pound there. Slowly but surely, uh, my cast's improving. It just, uh, just took a bit of getting used to. Um, but I've got to say, nice underarm cast like that, in the right, uh, float lands in the right spot, and it really feels good. I mean, that's absolutely perfect, that now. I'll say that unranded cast takes a little bit of getting used to. But that's absolutely magic positioning, that now. Ah, fabulous. Fabulous. Now, this RDX3 Waggler rod, uh, which I chose today to use, absolutely well impressed with it. It's got a cracking action. And uh, you can feel every kick off the fish, but 
still having control over it. So, uh, another rainbow, a bit smaller. Probably one of the biggest mistakes in my fishing life going by today's funnel. I should have done this years ago. Uh, we were struggling to catch a chub down river. Uh, that one I lost this morning. It's probably spooked most of them and further down. So what I've done is I've come up to some fast, faster water upstream and you can see by the water round, running around my legs, what it does is it gets a bit further down, it drops into a big hole with some nice tree stumps in it. So we're just trying, for the last five minutes, we're going to try and pick up a chub. There's normally a few here. The uh, session's coming to an end now. Uh, chub have eluded me, not for the first time, but I've thoroughly enjoyed me learning lesson with the centre pin reel. And the Avanti rod has really stood up well. So I've thoroughly enjoyed it, to be honest. The only thing I recommend is to go into the Dragon Carp tackle and have a look and see what you think um, but certainly great value for money and I recommend everybody should give it a whirl and I'm going to let this run through once more one more time as I'm doing no bites so then show you what we've caught right let's have a look what we've caught say a thoroughly enjoyable day Can't wait to do it again. It's been brilliant. <laughs>